How you guys doing this morning? It is TGIF, and, uh, and I'm sorry about <laughs> One of these days I'm, I'm going to run such a smooth show, you guys will think you're listening to something else, and most of the time you probably wish you were anyway. <laughs> anyway, this is Captain Boomer coming to you live from the undisclosed st- studios. Uh, I've got to get this volume a little better. And it is TGIF. There we go. It is TGI. Uh, thank God it's Friday. But for me, it's thank God I'm fried. Thank you. You betcha. And you guys watching that debate last night? Oh, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. A couple of them, they got that one broad. I don't know what the hell her name is. Boy, she is. You talk about a vendetta. All she talked about is, you know, the son of Satan, you know, uh, Trump, uh, how he's destroying the country from within, and how he's such a, uh, you know, a piece of crap, and everything else, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I mean, Klobuchar held her own. She did pretty good and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not here to talk about politics. Anyway, uh, I'm here to talk about me, the Captain Boomer podcast shows. Too damn right, damn you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna be playing some songs here. I I, um, I want to give a big shout out and I uh, appreciational shout out to the lovely city of Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you, you and and Lantinians. Would that be right? And Lantini. Anyway, the uh, the folks of Atlanta they checked in with Captain Boomer here the other day, and boy, I'm telling you, uh, my ni- my numbers for some reason took a spike, and it was great. It was it was the biggest jump I've had uh, in a long time. Uh, well, no, it was the biggest jump, period. Um, yeah, I had, think I had about 13, 14 listeners, and I noticed some, some of you people in this podcast business, that's, uh, you guys are doing that every five minutes probably. But to me, an old fart like me that don't know a damn thing about what he's doing, really, uh, I'm slowly going to learn. But you know, I figured out by the time I'm 90, I'll probably have this running real smooth, God willing. Um, so there you go. So if you guys want to hang in with me, uh, Till then, that I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we've got the big border battle coming up. Uh, the Vikes and the Packers. I think the Vikes will pull it out uh, if they play like they did uh, uh, against um, God. Who the hell was it? Oh boy, what a moment! Uh, Atlanta. Yeah, if they play like they played against Atlanta, I think they're gonna they're gonna walk away. Uh, they're gonna sneak a W uh, out of Green Bay. Um, there you go. And that'd be nice, right, guys? Yeehaw! You damn right, damn you. Uh, and anyways, uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't forget about the 734 News, guys. 734 News. Uh, I can't believe it, but no, but this is this is for real. Uh, if you miss some, I can't, it was Channel 4. Yeah, Channel 4 has uh, a young guy there that will, I don't know how he Twitter it, Roku, Buku, Dinky Dow, I mean, I don't, all this stuff that I, you know, communicational stuff, I am a moron. And at times I'm glad I'm not that up on it, in a way. Except for my little show here, I wish I knew more about getting out to more people. But anyway, you control it on your end anyways, just like, you know, just like uh, Outer Limits, remember that? We will control the volume. We will control the horizontal. But we can't control your goddamn kids. Yeah, that's a fact, ain't it? Too damn right. Thank you. Thank you. And we do have a brand new sponsor here, you guys. 
Yes, uh, I hope I don't forget it, but uh, I gotta go on to something a little bit more important right now. I got myself a new microphone stand. I built it myself, and it's pretty cool. It's got like a gooseneck thing on it, you know, where I can push it out of the way and stuff, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's kind of cool. Um, so there we go. I hope you guys, uh, yeah, and everything seems to be working okay. So, so anyways, um, yeah. Where else are we going with this stuff? Okay, I know you t I told you about Ma and Pa Kettle. No, they didn't break up. You see, one thing about old uh, uh, the older generations, that's even older than my generation, Ma and Pa Kettle. But, you know, uh, once you married, you stayed married. You either worked it out or... Here's the deal. You worked it out, you didn't get out. That That's it right now. I like that. I created that myself just now. Yeah. You worked it out, you didn't get out. And all these kids nowadays, I'm telling you, just, oh, geez, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Oh, he doesn't do that, or she don't do this, and this happened. You know, what do they do? They pull the plug. No, no. You're up there, and you are putting the vows together, and you are committing yourself to one another for a, for a lifetime together, through thick and thin, through hell and high water, through good times and bad, and you, and you have the big guy... Uh, and you have the big guy listening in, and you have you make these vows and stuff in front of the big guy. Damn it, you should keep it. That's uh, that's that's just my generation, and I'm glad I am a boomer because I tell you, I don't know where uh, some of these generation things, are, these uh, values. Uh, I don't know if we even got any values left anymore. You look on the news, but I don't want to go there, right? I'm a happy-go-lucky, medicated, seventy-year-old fart, and I don't care. That's right. I don't care. I don't even change my underwear. I go. I'm sitting down here naked in my damn, in my little uh, cubicle right now in the basement. That's right. Chew damn right, damn it. And I can do that because it's a free country. And uh, <laughs> oh, you guys taking your uh, your yoga classes yet? Did you do your stretching this morning, guys? Huh? Did you get your meds taken this morning? If not, go do it. Uh, go do it. It's important. Get that stretching going and take your meds and make sure to drink your eight glasses of vodka. No, not vodka. Eight glasses of water t Water today. Sometimes I feel like drinking eight glasses of vodka. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, my 39th year, I think, is coming up. My 39th year of sobriety, I believe it is. Uh, I'm not, I have to double check with the boss. Uh, the wife, she's, she, she's got all this stuff, memories and dates. Is your wife like that guy? Guys, your wife, she's got all, oh yeah, I remember there was Aunt Betty's uh, funeral when we, yeah, we stopped off, we ate at Perkins, don't you remember? And so, you know, so, no, I don't remember. I mean, but you know, <laughs> the, the wife, she gets, <laughs> she knows this stuff, so uh, I go back and I ask her this stuff. There you go. Yeah. So you guys, this is true though, right? Huh? It is true. Check this out. All right. Why is it, guys, that our boobs, when we get older, our boobs get bigger and the wives get smaller? Come on now. Damn it. It should be the other way around, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I have no need for bigger boobs, do you? No, we don't have any need for bigger boobs. And if you guys missed the, uh, you went to the fair and you got a bus ride, you might have missed them. But, but Ralph Crandon, the bus driver in the honeymooners, Ralph Crandon, played by Jackie Gleason, he was the bus driver. Yes, he filled in for somebody. And if you missed it, yeah, uh, that's that's too bad because that uh, Jackie Gleason was an I was a American icon, and uh, that honeymooners was a classic without a doubt. Ah, uh, yeah, we love the honeymoon. Pow, zoom, Alice, right to the moon. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, the only person that I know, really know of that went, went to the moon is still up there is Alice Cramden. Uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, old Ralph just went pop, zoom, right to the moon, Alice. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time. Well, for one thing, it's... Uh, Catherine's podcast as always has been and always will be a military appreciation station. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, who are participating in serving this great country of ours, no matter where you're serving, no matter what your MOS is, no matter where you're stationed. God bless you and thank you. Thank you for protecting our freedoms, our rights, and our liberties. That's so many in this country. 
take for granted every day. And you shouldn't take those freedoms for granted every day. Somebody who's paid the price, somebody will always pay the price for our freedoms. And you have, please, you have to take time to honor that. You see a vet, please, buy him a cup of coffee, all right? Pat her on the back, shake her hand, shake his hand. Shake something, no, I mean, but you know what I'm saying? Just go up there and acknowledge the fact that you appreciate what they have done and what they are doing. Some people are still in. I see, I don't care what, every uniform they're wearing, you know. Well, the Marines I might kind of shy away from, but uh, being a Navy man myself, no. <laughs> God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for us in this great country of ours. Okay, there we go. I got my military appreciation uh, spiel out there. And I try to remember that every show, and I will not forget it. Now we're going to move on. Hey, we're going to move on, guys, right? You ready to move? We're going to move on to, uh, all right, Dr. Lance Boyle. All right, Lance Boyle, Dr. Lan Lance Boyle is a sponsor of mine on my show, and Dr. Lance Boyle is responsible for a lot of great stuff out there. He, yes, Dr. Lance Boyle is, uh, is a board physician <laughs> of uh, Captain Boomer Show, and... Uh, and trust me, he's been around for years. And uh, as a matter of fact, he's going to be on my show. Uh, him and the wife whisper, I want to get on one of my shows here pretty soon. And uh, that should be a hell of a show. And don't forget, you guys can win tickets. Just check in with old Captain Boomy. You can win your tickets to actually sit on a live studio broadcast show of Captain Boomers. If, uh, yeah, if you just be one of the first, uh, one of the first two people that call. Because I might... Might get two people to call. I don't know. <laughs> God, what? I go, I'm so nuts. Anyway, um, I'm going to be playing a little bit of song, music here in a little bit. Got to have music, don't we? Oh, man, got to have the music. But anyways, back to Dr. Lance Boyle. Dr. Lance Boyle uh, is coming out with a brand new... No, I know you heard about the Villages of Viagra, and this is going... And as a matter of fact, the Villages of Viagra... Uh, is is hooking up with these people yeah and it's gonna be dynamite yes these uh we're talking about dysfunctional erectional itis you know what i'm saying guys that's right you know what i'm saying we just don't have enough down there and uh so dr lance boyle once again he's come up with it again dr lance boyle he has says He's got a brand new product out there, and it's called, simply called, the Weenie Genie. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. What do you think? Thank you. Yes. It is the Weenie Genie. And I'm telling you, this, this stuff is even more potent than, than Viagra. You guys want to check it out, I'm telling you. And when there again, you're only going to hear about it on Captain Boomer's Morning Podcast Show. Ever. Yeah, uh, that's it. And uh, that's because I try to get the information that's vital and important to us, not the bullshit. I don't let the other guys do the bullshit, you know, sell your windows, sell your cars, sell your this, that, and other things. I don't sell nothing. I really don't. I promote a few things. Uh, yeah, right? And anyways, you guys want to check out the Weenie Genie. They got a little jingle out there, something about when it's when it's teeny, check out the weenie genie, you bet. There you go, I got that out of the way, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> How can you deny not checking out with a name like weenie genie, huh? I mean, that's a classic. Any <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Help me. Where'd my help me guy go? Hell, he was here. Help me. Yes, help me. help me. Well, you guys can help yourself to a little bit of Muzak here. Okay, let's do. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. I just pushed the buttons. I'm not that fancy yet. These other guys got formats and all this other stuff. Nah, I ain't got that stuff. I'm strictly work with good goodwill used products and stuff like that. Cause I'm on a strict budget. Cause I'm retired and I don't have much money. But that's not to stop me saying that I can't put on a quality show once in a while. Here we go. Let's do that. Let's do. <laughs> I would. 